question. Do you think that the RRX24 and the RR24 would share some similarities? Because I did! I did! Turns out they're nowhere near the same guitar. Go figure. Welcome back to the Working Class Musician YouTube channel. I'm Jimmy Franklin, and I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Truth of the matter, honestly, like, let's give, like, all seriousness, I'm just confused. Um, but I, th I just want to go over some points because I picked up this awesome Jackson RR24Q, which is the pro model, and it's got a nice quilt top. That's what the Q stands for. And I had just gotten rid of my RRX24 recently, and I was, you know, I was thinking to myself, oh, I'll never play 80s metal again, right? So why do I need the RRX24? So I got rid of it, and then I started playing some 80s metal again that needs to have some sort of live 80s metal look. And I thought to myself, like, yo, I'm going to go with another Jackson. Maybe I'll go with a little bit of an upgraded model, right? Well, turns out they're not only not the same guitar, they're ridiculously different. And I don't mean that in a way where it's like, oh, it's got the different block and the Floyd Rose. I mean, like, you know, most things that I really enjoyed about my RRX are very different from the Pro model. And so if you're considering upgrading from the RRX to the Pro, I'm going to go over a couple points here that you may not have, may not have thought of. But... First, let's switch over to the guitar cam, 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 Oh yeah, look, she's sexy. Oh my God. That's the problem is that like on top of it all, I hate that I want to send this thing back because it's so good looking. This one is the the RR, I've been accidentally saying X a lot, so I got to stop saying X. This is the RR24Q, which means just Randy Rhodes. 24 fret quilt top. I was originally going to go for one in purple with the gold hardware, but they didn't have any in stock and they have this one and I really just wanted to try it out. And it does look just as good in person as it does in the pictures. And now we're going to play some generic metal riffs. <laughs> Right? What could be wrong? What, what could be wrong with it? It sounds perfect, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And honestly, it does sound great. The only thing that I don't like is the inconsistency between the two. I had a completely different idea of what this guitar was going to be in my head. So for starters, um, the RRX came with a JB and a 59. Uh, Seymour Duncan's, right? It had, it's a very classic pickup setup that I love. I, I think, why do anything else, almost? And so I'm a big fan of the JB and 59, and these are not a JB and a 59. These are Seymour Duncan distortions. Great pickups, but way different. They're just not for me. Anything to me that's just called a distortion does one thing really well, and like, and yeah, it does. It's true. It does everything that it claims to do. It does distortion insanely well. Like, look at that, right? Like, there's nothing fake about that whatsoever, right? It just sounds so good. So there's, you know, there's no BS there that this guitar does exactly what it says it's going to do. But the other thing that makes a huge difference is the JB and the 59 on the RRX was on a basswood body. This is not basswood. 
this is mahogany and it's heavy and it's chunky and it's honky and it's a perfect sounding mahogany body but the thing is that in a situation where i need to have something that can sound like mahogany but sometimes not sound like mahogany it's way easier to mahogany up a basswood body than to unmahogany a mahogany body you catch my drift Mahogany sounds exactly the same every time. It's such a good tone wood. It's so stable. I have big, chunky Les Pauls. I have a Les Paul Custom that's made out of solid mahogany. It's close to 14 pounds, and it's awesome. I just wasn't expecting that. The Maybe, okay, now that I'm saying this out loud, that I didn't expect Seymour Duncan distortions on a mahogany body to sound a certain way, Maybe I'm the dumb one here. Maybe I just wasn't thinking when I ordered the guitar, but it just, it's so, it's just so thick and honky and gnarly and it's so good, but it's just not what I was looking for. You know, I just expected it to sound like my other one, which I was very, very accustomed to hearing, I guess. <laughs> thing that really bugged me is the neck profile so both guitars came with um the compound radius fretboard which everything that you know jackson charvel evh they're all doing these compound radius fretboards on their super shredders my ibanez az has a compound radius fretboard and i think that that's one of the best things i've ever felt and so this has the compound radius fretboard and that's all I kind of looked at. The thing I didn't think about was that the neck was going to be different. I'm not going to lie. The, the RRX had a thick neck on it and I was impressed by that. I thought to myself like, oh, this is cool. It's a shredder that has a thicker neck and I like to hold a bigger, chunkier neck in my hand. This neck is almost like an Ibanez wizard neck. It's paper thin. And it's the same reason that I got rid of my Charvel in the first place because it does kind of put, my thumb does this thing where it like pops like this, right? I don't know. So the thing that's weird about it is that my thumb like pushes forward uncomfortably when the neck's too thin. And 
it really limits the amount of time that I could play. And so if I'm doing a 90 minute show on this guitar, it's probably just not gonna be doable for me. And I didn't think that it would be that different. You know, both had set necks. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting, I don't know if you could see it here. Let me see if I can get you on the guitar cam. So check this out. The other thing that's very interesting that I haven't experienced before is that the neck is unfinished and then right here it hits lacquer. It's interesting when you have that lacquer there because out of nowhere, you're just like climbing up the neck and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's a finished portion. And if your hand is sweaty, and I didn't expect that, but like if my hand was sweaty, right there, it's like this weird border that I'm hitting between like my thumb is half and half on lacquer and, uh, and on, like it's, my thumb is like half and half on lacquer and on unfinished neck. And I really like the unfinished neck. That's why I got it. But then I didn't expect it to be that weird. And to me, it's maybe I could get away with it, but I know once my hand is sweating, the way it feels. And so that's one thing that I can't get away from. You know? to me on that whole thing about the neck where you say something like oh any a real musician can play on anything and you're right you're you would be right by saying that but and I you know I can play on things when I want to play on them but but this is a situation where I want to be as comfortable as possible doing the job that I have to do and this just isn't making me comfortable I do have Jumbo frets on here, which really make up for it. And don't get me wrong, a nice setup on this might help. It definitely might help. It's a little high for me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so all in all, besides that, one thing that, a couple of things that I really do like is um, the sturdiness of the knobs as compared to the RRX. I think the overall build quality feels more professional. I do like how the pickups are directly mounted into the body. That helps with that huge, thick tone. Let me check my time. And on top of that, an honorable mention, I gotta say, I turns out I don't like reverse headstocks. <laughs> 
it, I, it just feels weird when I get to the low E, my arm gets so exhausted. I had no idea that I wasn't gonna like things like that. Um, all in all, I hope this video is helpful for anyone that might be going through wanting to upgrade to one of these. If you wanna pick up one of these or any of the Randy Rhodes series Jacksons for yourself, I'll have a link where you can purchase one of these from our friends at Sweetwater. Remember to buy from Sweetwater because however you see the guitar online is how it comes to you. Set up, ready to go, right out of the gate. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time with this and see if it's going back or not. Thank you guys so much. This is The Working Class Musician and I will see you next time.